Jaffna is located in northern Sri Lanka and is inhabited by Tamils, an ethnic group that is of South Indian origin. Jaffna is the capital of northern province and is the 12th most populous city in the country. Nallur is the suburb of Jaffna and served as the capital in the medieval Jaffna kingdom. The Nallur Kanda Swami Kovil festival is one of the longest holy festivals in Sri Lanka. It lasts for 25 days and is held in reverence of Lord Murugan. There is a lengthy procession observing of religious rituals and a flag hoisting ceremony. The festival is sacred to Hindu devotees and largely attracts locals to share in this brightly colored and glowing event. However, it is also a significant ceremony that is known to draw tourists and visitors to the northern peninsula. Two more sacred images including Goddess Devanai and Balli are also honored during this festival. The Nallur Kanda Swami Kovil is a significant temple for the Hindu population in the northern province of Sri Lanka. Lord Murugan remains supreme at this holy site. The Kovil was built by Bhuvanika Bahu in 13th century who was a minister to the king of ancient times. Nallu remained the capital of Jaffna under the kings and the royal palace was closely situated to this Kovil. There are four entrances and gates at Nallu Kovil. The temple was originally made of stones and bricks with a kajal roof and the shrine comprised of two small huts. However, many additions have since been made to this glorious temple such as the floor which has been renovated using granite. Other extensive improvements were done making it the largest Hindu temple in Sri Lanka and its presence planned to see six bell towers, four gopurams and ramparts with the main entrance toward the east, the holy pond facing the southern part of the temple and the garden facing the northern side. The Nallur Kovil festival procession parades through the interiors of the temple by day and outside of the temple late into the night. The Lord Murugan is reverentially carried in a ceremoniously decorated vehicle from the start to the end of the festival in the form of silver and green peacocks, swan and cobra, animals that are considered to be hallowed. A chariot festival is the culmination of the commemoration amidst the repeated chanting and drumming. The Kavadi dancers are a sacramental sacrifice offered by devotees during the reverence of Lord Murugan. The dance depicts death oppression. The word Kavadi refers to a physical burden that is used by festival goers to beseech their god in offering them healing, supplicating for their loved ones and bonding them spiritually. During the Kavadi dance, devotees hurl coconuts at the ground and on themselves to demonstrate their true dedication in honor of their faith. The flag hoisting ceremony is the start of the Nallur festival and the 10 days following this occasion will see numerous religious events and pujas takes place. You will witness many elaborate activities during the next 10 days with the pinnacle event being the chariot festival also referred to as Thair festival. Males above the ages of 3 must be bare-chested when visiting the temple during the festival as a token of their respect while females should adorn long dresses that cover their legs and have their hair properly tied. You cannot wear shoes inside or outside the temple and should be left at the sandy forecourt. It is a unique temple and the interiors and exteriors are beautifully decorated. The priests open the doors by 4:30 in the morning and the lamps are lit and the deities are worshiped. The festival ends in the exact same way it began by transporting the image of Lord Murugan to its original place. The festival is a magnificent spectacle. It is believed that many saints resided in this place and therefore the temple is blessed by their presence. There's a sense of serenity and tranquility within the premises and whenever anyone visits they are made to feel at peace. The chariot festival begins at 8 in the morning with the image of Lord Murugan transported on the outskirts of the temple. The ceremony will end at 11 a.m. 
As the heavy chariot is paraded along the streets, thousands of devotees, including the young and old, rich and poor, stand shoulder to shoulder and pull the chariot by a rope. And you can witness the purity and sincerity of these people of faith. Devotees from all corners of the country and different parts of the world participate in this ceremony. They demonstrate their dedication to these gods and gather to enjoy songs. The 25th day is a water cutting festival which is referred to as Tirtham and is the celebration of the resolution of sins. The lowering of the flag will be done on the evening and following this the Poon Gavanam festival is held. The festival is one of the most significant religious and cultural events for the Tamil community. The Nallur temple stands 1.5 kilometers away from Point Pedro in Jaffna. This holy marvel and diverse ceremony can be witnessed between August and September. The Kovil depicts the god of beauty, war and love. This majestic temple has reigned for centuries and encapsulates peace that can be wholly experienced in the most heavenly of places.